those of us working in education. Ooh. Okay. Hey, uh, there's going to be a lot of messages on like Instagram or Facebook and maybe from First Pres or from South or whatever. They're like, you're changing the world, you're saving lives, you're changing lives. All that's true. But from my limited purview, it is not hard for a good teacher to do the work that changes lives. It is hard to know that there are things you cannot change and still show up. Thank you for doing that on Tuesday. Remember that in November and in February and whenever stupid testing is. And whenever you don't know where the kid is that you want to see. The Lord sees. Thank you. 
thing here at the end of the service where sort of we pronounce a, like a blessing or a good word um, over all of us. Um, today, it's a, a, Christine and I worked on it a little bit longer, but it's for you. So I ask that you just like receive this into your brains, into your bodies, into your hearts. May Jesus bless all adults as they endeavor to live faithful lives in their homes and in their workplaces. May Jesus strengthen all who are parents, step-parents, guardians, caregivers, and grandparents of children, youth, and young adults. May you be motivated to find the time to sit and to listen to your young people. May the Spirit of God give you hearts and minds filled with patience, understanding, and wisdom. May Jesus energize all of you who teach and lead. God, may God inspire you with creativity and commitment. May you be empowered to continue teaching and bringing forth the best from your students. And very importantly, may God provide and may you take opportunities for refreshment and renewal. And then together, can we say, we as a congregation commit to appreciate our teachers' efforts, to treat them with respect, and to answer when they call. And everybody together, amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord which means loving and serving your neighbor. There are games and lunch outdoors. See you there.